We are at an urban creek. Never fished here in my life. And I gotta be honest with you, I feel like I'm gonna smash some fish, baby. Hopefully some creek chubs, but you never really know what's gonna bite. Nothing but confident in this little guy. This creek is tiny. It's in the middle of town. This should be a perfect little creek chub habitat. Thank goodness for Google Maps, man. This place looks sweet. There's a fish, yes. Yes, sir. We found a fish. I've been dinking around all day and I got what I was looking for. Sometimes you just gotta get out and explore, folks. Creek chub for life, baby. Look at that, a little chungus. All right, see you, buddy. All right, all right. Let's see if there's another one in this pool. Give me one. I'm gonna get number two right here. Number two, let's go. There he is. Oh my gosh, he just torched. Oh, look at this giant. This is a giant creek chub. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that Mondo. He's greasy, he's glorious. I love everything about this fish. His head is huge. I'm telling you folks, some people do not care about these fish. I think they're great. I think all fish are cool, man. All fish deserve respect, especially a native fish like this that gets zero respect. Man, I popped the crap out of him. That's a pretty big one. I'm gonna guess him at about 11 inches, but the girth is the thing that I'm really excited about. This guy is absolutely thick. All right, let's let this guy loose. Oh my gosh, I got grease all over my fingers. It should not surprise you what rig I'm using. Little float rig, little 180th ounce black mule jig with a red honey worm. And I'm using on my five and a half foot ultralight with two pound test. Can't go wrong, baby, can't go wrong. Okay, you're probably confused by this point as to where I am and what the heck is going on. I am currently on the east side of Michigan, close to Ann Arbor, in a town called Chelsea. And the main reason I came here is because there's this tiny creek that I saw on the maps, and I'm like, you know what, I might be able to go catch some creek chubs. So here we are, and fortunately, I was successful. I've already caught two, and hopefully we'll catch a few more. I'm just at this little public park, but what's super interesting about this spot, I'm not sure if you can see that white building back there, but that is like the Jiffy Corn Cake Mix factory, I believe. I don't know about you, but I used to eat Jiffy corn muffins all the time growing up. My mom always bought that stuff. Those things are like 50 cents a box. They're super cheap and they're super delicious. Regardless, I had no idea this was here until I got here. And I'm like, I look up and I'm just seeing trucks and trucks and trucks with the Jiffy logo on the side. And I'm like, huh. I guess that's what that is. Anyways, I don't really care necessarily about corn muffins right now. What I care about is catching some more jumbo creek chubs because, hey, that's what it's all about, baby. You know I like creek chubs. I think they're cool fish. So I hope that kind of explains things. Anyways, let's get back to fishing, see if we can find a few more fish. Let's go. If you can look past those trees, you see all the semis I was talking about. This makes me want either a blueberry muffin or a corn muffin. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just love this little float rig for creek chubs. It's so fun to fish. I love when they just doink it. I think I might need to set this just a hair deeper. I'm gonna pull the bobber up about six inches just enough to make that jig get a little closer to the bottom right here it seems like there's a relatively deeper pool but when i say relatively deeper oh there's a bite yep that was such a light bite when i say relatively deeper i'm talking maybe like two feet deep and uh the rest of this creek you know it's anywhere from six inches down to maybe two and a half feet that's the smallest one yet for sure Setting that jig just six inches deeper made all the difference. I had made numerous casts, and uh, as soon as I changed that, there's another one. Yep, as soon as I changed that depth, it makes such a difference. That one's a little bigger, but still pretty small. That one I caught was just a nice behemoth, man. Look at that hook set, though. Literally, you can't get better than that. These guys are so funny looking, but they're so pretty in their own way. I bet this little dude right here has had his fair share of corn muffins. You think Jiffy ever throws some corn cake mix back here for their Creek Chub buddies? Question is, does Jiffy have a creek chub as their mascot yet? And if they don't, what are they waiting on? I have no affiliation with Jiffy, but I gotta be honest with you. Great company, man. I don't even honestly know what all they make, but I know my mom used to buy the uh, blueberry muffin mix as well as the corn cake mix all the time. You cannot tell me that nothing eats that. There he is. Oh, I saw it. The bobber just very slightly moved. That's a bite. Yep. Oh, that's a tree. I swore that was a bite, but that was definitely a tree limb. This is where things get interesting because I've got all this brush over here and I need to walk past it to get it back, but I'm gonna have to hike through this gunk. This is gonna be fun. If someone wants to just, you know, send me a blueberry muffin, I need some carbohydrates. Son of a muffin. Oh yes, sir, I got it back. Yes, sir, yes, sir. There's a fish. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right behind the dang factory. Oh. Easy release, I suppose. <laughs> Literally look up and that's the building right there. There's just trucks backed up to it. There's a fish, yes sir. This little pool right here might just be our next hot spot. Such a cool location of fish. Man, he's got specks on him. 
some sort of little parasite or something. If you happen to know of any articles that explain these little tiny black dots on fish, I know people have told me they're parasites in the past, but I, I don't know much about it and I'm always curious. If you have an article or anything, please do share that. If you want to catch the Mondo Creek Chubs, you must go where no angler has ever gone before. Okay, there's just trees everywhere. I wish I was some sort of shapeshifter so I could like turn into a little raccoon and just walk right through all this stuff. But unfortunately, no, I was not blessed with shapeshifting abilities. Get out of here, stick. Ah, that was awful. Hopefully there's a couple more openings that we can catch a fish in. That truck is probably getting loaded with corn muffin mix, man. Oh, what a cast. There he is, yes sir, right in front of the drainage. Anytime you see any kind of like flowing water, drainage pipes and whatnot, man, they're magnets for any fish, creek chubs, whatever. Literally everything likes a little bit of extra current. Consolidated current equals fish. Look at that, just straight to the dome piece. I've become a total addict to these fish, I'm telling you. See you, buddy. One thing I noticed the other day that kind of frustrated me, so the state of Michigan has a master angler program. If you catch a trophy size fish, you can qualify to be like a master angler. And I was looking the other day and I couldn't help but notice they don't have creek chubs on that list. And I know it's just because most people don't fish for them, but I encourage the state of Michigan to add creek chubs to the master angler list. The question is, what size would it be? I feel like a 13 inch creek chub would be a massive fish. And I feel like it's probably possible. So if I was the Michigan DNR, oh my God, Yes, sir. That is a micro, a total micro. That hook set was beastly though. Look at that beautiful, beautiful pattern on this fish. So what I was getting ready to say is I encourage the Michigan DNR to make Creek Chub, you know, a species that's added to the Master Angler program. I would love to see them make it 12, 13 inches, 14 inches, I don't know. Um, whatever they classify as a trophy Creek Chub. I wanna see, whoa, well, I almost ate it. <laughs> Chances are Michigan will probably never make a Creek Chub a Master Angler fish, and that's okay. Regardless, I am gonna set a goal right now. My new goal is I wanna catch a 13 inch Creek Chub. Yeah, that's right. That's a big freaking Creek Chub. Hopefully I can catch one either this winter or spring, if at all possible. I feel like if I catch a 13 inch Creek Chub, I deserve to win something. I should win like a t-shirt that says, I'm the Chub Master. How funny would it be if there was a fish in here? Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. Creek Chub can live in such weird areas. It wouldn't surprise me at all if there was one right there. Not this time, but I, oh, I almost broke every bone in my leg. I stepped into a massive hole. That could have been really bad. I did not break anything, fortunately. Whew, that was scary. Well, wonderful, I caught a tree pounder. So much gunk everywhere. It is impossible to fish in this dang creek. Catch and release. I'm just getting caught up on tree limbs everywhere I go, whether it's my fishing pole, my leg, my backpack, my head. It's a total disaster. We're back to my car. Unfortunately, I couldn't get another one to bite, but hey, we had a good time. I am darn thankful for those Creek Chubs I caught. I dedicate all of today's Creek Chubs to all of my fellow corn muffin lovers out there. Man, I tell you what, fishing and all that junk is kind of a pain in the butt. Part of me thinks I need like a little three and a half foot rod for trips like that because man, it is hard to walk through all that brush with a five and a half foot fishing pole. Anyways, today's video was definitely random. I was not really planning on doing this, but it just kind of happened. And man, it was fun. I guess the moral of the story is you never really know how good a fishing spot is gonna be until you try it. This is just a tiny creek that literally 99% of fishermen would drive by and be like, nah, there ain't anything in there. But me, because I'm a creek chub fanatic, I'm like, dude, Dude, prime habitat, bro. Also, it's pretty darn funny that I was fishing right behind the Jiffy Mix factory. Let's go drive by it. I got Creek Chub greasy fingers. Let's get a little bit of that hand sanitizer. Ugh, oh yeah. I wonder how many people that live in Chelsea, Michigan are gonna watch this video. They're probably gonna be like, dude, you actually fish that weird creek? I wish I could do like a factory tour. That'd be so epic. There she is. 